What's up guys, welcome to Kisi Unlocked. My name is Drake and I'm here to guide you through the world of access control. Let's get into it. Today we will talk about push to exit buttons, their benefits and the installation process. Access control systems like Kisi are great for securing your spaces, ensuring only authorized individuals can enter. However, there is no need for credentials when exiting into a less secure space. This is a push to exit button, a type of request to exit device. A request to exit device allows you to open a locked door to exit without needing credentials. Push to exit buttons and motion sensors are the two most common request to exit devices. Push to exit buttons are great for any electronically locked door that needs a free exit option. With the push of a button, anyone inside the room can unlock the door to leave. These buttons can be used in commercial, residential, and industrial settings, and they are ideal for fire doors, gates, or anywhere with an access control system. Push to exit buttons are simple and intuitive to operate, and they offer easy exits from secured spaces. Unlike motion sensors, push to exit buttons are usually only triggered if someone is trying to leave the room. This enables the Kisi system to accurately track when people leave, and it can even be used to calculate how close to occupancy limits your space is. For this installation, you will need a Kisi Controller Pro 2, a push to exit button, an external power source, and a small flathead screwdriver. Note that here, the Kisi Wigan board is being used as a power source for demonstration purposes. We do not recommend this as a permanent solution. Ensure the controller is unplugged and identify the general input pins on the left side of the Kisi Controller Pro 2. Now connect the COM output to one of the GND ports of the controller. Then connect the NC output to one of the numbered general input ports on the controller. Connect the positive port to the positive terminal of a power source and connect the negative port to the negative or ground terminal of a power source. Some push to exit buttons are simpler and only have positive and negative wires. In this case, just connect positive to an input pin and negative to a ground pin. Now let's set up the software. Sign into Kisi. Navigate to places and select the place you want to configure the request to exit device for. Navigate to hardware in the left hand menu and select controllers. Select the controller that has the request to exit device wired to it. Scroll down and click on inputs. Select the input that the request to exit device is wired to. Under type, select request to exit. Under door, select the door the request to exit device is wired to. Under duration, define how long the relay should be triggered. Under action on access, select unlock door. Under end of line type, Specify the desired end-of-line status that you want Kisi to detect. Enable the toggle. Click Save. Tip! You can disable your request to exit device anytime using the same hardware tab. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like down below. Smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date on the latest in access control and physical security. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll try our best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.